Today we are taking a look at the fashion from the 2018 Billboard Music Awards. Kelly looks beautiful and radiant in this gown. Shoulder details and shoulder pads are back and hotter than ever, baby! And this gown gives the illusion of higher and broader shoulders without actually going through all of that drama. I also enjoy the detail of the delicate polka dot lining. My criticism of this look, however, is that those earrings do not need to be there at all. The gown does enough on its own. Oh, and guess what? I voted for Justin Guarini. Sorry, my bad. You put the B to the B to the B B B B B T S. BTS is a highly popular Korean, aka K-pop boy band, and there is nothing to really say here other than, aren't Asians supposed to have kick-ass style always? I mean, Asian men are my fashion role models. They are the people that I look up to when I want to aspire to be better with my own fashion. Well, BTS simply leaves a lot to be desired in the fashion department. Not to mention this guy right here looks like an aunt at my family reunion. And this looks like me at my family reunion wondering why my aunt keeps talking about her husband when we all know she's a lesbian. Like, oh my god guys, this is a totally boring look. I would have totally liked to have seen Andy in something surprising and fun, like, uh, I don't know, maybe a leopard print. My mom would totally kill me for saying this right now, but Andy is a complete shit stirrer, but a cute one nonetheless. I love that gray type of silver hair. You're like a total dilf unless, you know, you don't have kids, and in that case, you're just a... I'd like to Oh, and cute detail with the shoes. Not. The bottom of this dress is simply magic. The top, however, lets the entire thing down, and that's a gay joke that you are probably not understanding, and you know what? That's okay. I feel that the top of this dress could have been in keeping with the funness of the bottom. However, it looks like the top of an old lady bathing suit, but the hair, love it! Now, if I only knew who Camilla Cabello was. No! Aguilera, hell to the no! This is one of the ugliest things that I have ever seen, and I once saw a woman eat 43 crab legs at an all-you-can-eat seafood buffet right before they were closing. She was totally packing it in like a squirrel. Aguilera looks like baby Sue got into her daddy's dirty laundry and put on one of his dress shirts and is now parading around in it. I just hope mommy doesn't find a lipstick stain around the collar. If so, it's all your fault, baby Sue! In short, this look does not work at all. It's gross! And to add insult to injury, why not add a very long train? This is a let's go down to the bar for drinks and let's try not to get f tonight kind of look. This dress is a lot of fun and does wonderful things for Demi Lovato while not detracting from her. She is wearing the dress, the dress is not wearing her, and while we are at it, she is totally owning this dress. However, Demi looks like she just woke up and someone said, put that dress on and let's go, we're running late. And she's like, well, let me wash my hair, I can put my big ass hoops on in the car. I have no idea who this woman is, but the color of this dress rocks, the shoulders, the bow detail, the open front, I love it all. Let's face it, I love Janet Jackson and I have been a fan of hers for so long now, but I'm going to call her Miss Jackson because this look is nasty. 
The skirt is ethereal, however the belt and the t-shirt do not work at all. If she was set on this type of look specifically, she could have paired the skirt with a Rhythm Nation t-shirt. Now wouldn't that have been awesome? Like, oh my god, I would have totally loved that. That would have been out of sight. Dynamite! Is this Janet or is this Michael? The jacket's fun, the shirt, pants, and shoes, you know, kind of just blend together too much. I like this guy and he has mad talent, but I just never got the sex appeal from him. I'd rather make it with a cordless blender. Oh, excuse me, I just choked on my tongue and that's what this lady said. This is a woman that knows how to take risks and she loves doing it, however, this looks like underwear, ma'am. When it comes to fashion, the Billboard Music Awards is all about having fun. This is either too much fun or not enough. And the only sex factor is the fact that Jennifer Lopez opened her jacket a little to show off her matching leather bra. Way to remind us that your tits are sweating! Her makeup is on point though, and I love her effortless haircut and style. Waiting for tonight, I'm sure every straight man in America and around the world for that matter is waiting for tonight in wild anticipation. Kygo is a DJ, in case you didn't know because I sure as hell didn't know. Cute, he's handsome, talented. I don't know, that's really not for me to say. This look would be better suited for the Emmys or for the Golden Globes, but he took a shower, he looks clean, and he made an effort, and that counts for everything. Mila Kunis looks adorable and fashionably seasoned. It's the perfect mix of classic elegance with a little bit of edge. There's not much to say about Polly D, but these women look absolutely fantastic. People should take a page out of these women's book because this is how fashion should have been done for the Billboard Music Awards. Bright colors, flashy sparkles, bold print, and statement jewelry. When I get old, I want to be just like these women. As I've said before, I think Migos has a lot of style and I absolutely love this look and I would totally wear it! One is barely wearing anything at all and the other one is wearing a barely there jacket. Looks like one said, girl my bodacious tits and booty just broke my dress wide on open, can I please borrow that jacket? And the other one looks like, girl, I'm going to pick up some of the good kind tonight, showing my knocker lines in this sheer mess. Where's Spinderella when you need her? Tyra Banks looks beautiful as always. And in this dress, Tyra proves that ruffles belong on other things than just a simple potato chip. She is totally smizing. Tyra is proving in this moment that you can ooze sex appeal and be sexy without actually having sex. I always just had sex and then in the middle of it I would whisper, I'm sexy, right? I'm sexy, huh? Tell me I am. Oh man, I, uh, I, I need to get it together here. I like this look. I like the length of the pants. I like the tailoredness, the peekaboo surprise extra shirt, the ever so flash of color with the boot. I like this outfit and I think it would look even better on my floor. Shawn Mendes is tall and in case you didn't know, you know what they say about tall men. Sex so good you'll call your pastor just to say, brother Ted, go to hell and suck an egg. Shawn Mendes, would you like to get together and do yoga with me, you know? We could totally practice deep breathing. Oh my, <coughs> oh my God, F me. I like Taylor Swift, but that's just a secret between you and me. This is my look of the night. It's classic, timeless, but it's unexpected and drips glamour and edge. It's surprising and takes you other places. You look at Taylor here and you're like, oh yeah, that's exactly what a celebrity should look like. 
and it's sexy, but it's not showing too much, and she's not losing herself in the look. I say, Taylor Swift, you go girl, and you totally shake off those haters. That's, that's all. That's all. Thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to comment, share, like, and subscribe, and I will see you again soon.